Hello again, we are Team Weatherbusters and just to recap on what our project is about, there are two key objectives that we hope to achieve as part of this project. The first is to develop an interface with existing weather radars or NextRed, obtain from open source information and to be shown on the Google Map interface. We also develop an engine running in the background to calculate potential interference when planning to plant new radars. The second part is to make use of weather and flight delay information available from open sources and then use some analytics models to predict possible flight delays based on weather forecast. To help us develop our software, we make use of these key technologies. Our key source of data comes from web services provided by the National Weather Service and Bureau of Transportation Statistics. We then develop models for both radar interference engine and we intend to make use of linear regression model for the analytics and prediction of flight delays. Next, in terms of development technologies, we found some pieces of code from NPM to help us crawl weather data from web services and another piece to help us convert from CSV file format to JSON format. Our software is based on JavaScript and we make use of jQuery quite extensively to handle and manipulate information and events. And of course, in the presentation layer, we make use of CSS, HTML, and Google Maps for visualization. The code for the interference app works as such. The server is run in Node and uses Express to direct the client to the HTML page where the correct address is input. It also takes in inputs using the Express get function to allow the client to add new entries into the database. The bulk of the functions relating to writing into the database is found in the API.js, which are called when the server receives a GET request to add new entries to the database from the client. Finally, the radars.html file initializes the view, uses jQuery to read from the database, and plot the markers on the map as well as calculate interference levels between markers. Pre-processing and data mining was probably the most tedious part of the project as we have to deal with a large chunk of raw data, many of which may be beyond the scope of this project. After filtering out the information, here's a summary of what we have developed to process and visualize the information. First, in the HTML page, we call the Google Map API to display circle bubbles to represent flight delays and the color polygons for each date to represent the average temperature for the month. The flight delay bubbles.js file contains the logic to analyze flight delays due to weather for each airport in the United States. The animate function is called every second and the average flight delay for each airport for the particular month is calculated. Based on the magnitude of flight delay, the circle radius is updated accordingly. The drawweatheroverlay.js file performs a similar task for the weather parameters such as temperature, amount of rainfall and precipitation for a particular month. The average minimum temperature for each month updates the color for each date according to the temperature color scale. Since last week, some new features were added to the client. Now, whenever anyone clicks anywhere on the map to get the latitude and longitude, a yellow placeholder marker would be placed to indicate the selected coordinates. Interference levels are now cal calculated between markers using their specifications and the markers now dynamic dynamically change to a red color if they experience any interference. Clicking on the marker now opens an info window indicating which sensors are interfering with it as well as the level of interference experience. As for the flight delay analytics Part of this project, we have added a layer of visualization based on the average minimum temperature for each month. The color that you see in each state corresponds to the temperature scale below the map. Also, as we have shown in a previous video, the red bubbles correspond to the amount of time attributed to flight delays due to weather conditions. We created a time lapse between January 2010 to December 2016, with both the flight delay information and weather information shown on the Google map. From this visualization, it is quite easy for us to observe the magnitude of flight delays based on weather patterns. With this, the next step for us is to develop the analytics model to predict the flight delay time due to weather. 
We have a number of independent variables that we want to consider, such as the amount of rainfall, the amount of snow, temperature and wind speed at the airport at a particular time. We plan to use the linear regression model in our analysis and to help predict future flight delays based on weather forecast. As for the project risks, we are happy to be able to mitigate and close two of the risk areas identified earlier. There is one remaining risk on inadequate weather and flight data which may affect the analysis outcome. At this time, we have been able to mine for the weather information that we think we need, so we are lowering this risk from medium to low. With that, we have come to the end of the second update. If you have any queries, please feel free to reach out to any one of us. Thank you.